We hooked another spar stick. I think there's like three minutes left. I'm going to land as quickly as possible. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today, you join me up Rockbourne Trout Fishery. Fly fishing for trout. A little bit different today. I'm setting myself a challenge to catch 10 fish in four hours on a catch and release ticket. It's going to be no easy feat, but I'm really looking forward to this challenge anyway. My rod's set up. The lake's behind me. I've got it to myself. So whilst I've got this space, I'm going to get around there and see if I can start catching some fish. The timer starts now. Let's go. They're not off to a great start. I've been tangled more times than I can count. Um, I keep getting caught in the rushes. So I'm gonna head around the other side of the lake and see if we can do some stalking. It's gonna be a tough challenge. Funnily enough, I've just moved around this side of the lake. I've just seen a fish jump on the other side of the lake. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those days, but I'm going to change my fly for now because this one hasn't had any uh, interaction yet. So I think I'm going to put something white on, something a little bit more stand out in the water. So I think this is called a cat's whisker. It's a really good fly and I've had a lot of success on it in previous uh, sessions. So we're going to see if it brings me a little bit more joy on this lake. If not, I'm only going to have a few more casts into this lake. I think maybe because the sun hasn't hit it yet, it hasn't warmed it up and the fish are still quite idle. It's still winter, obviously. Um, and maybe they're just uh, they're just resting up until the sun comes out. So after a few more casts here, I'm going to shoot over to one of the other lakes and try my luck there. So more than half an hour has lapsed and I haven't even had a look at a fish yet. Um, I'm gonna move off this lake because nothing's happening. I've tried all the swims, different flies. Um, so we're gonna head down to another lake now. It's a little bit more open down there. So hopefully I can actually spot some fish, but it's so dark down here at the moment that it's almost impossible. Um, and I'm just blindly casting. So we're gonna head down to the other lake <laughs> and see if our luck will turn. <laughs> arrived down at the next lake still can't see a thing it was very optimistic with 10 fish yes that was such a weird take he was just sat down there. And I thought he's probably not feeding, but I put the fly past it anyway. He took absolutely no notice of it. And I stopped, I started to walk up the bank. And I just saw him coming towards it. And I stopped the fly and he just went bang. And he finally got a bloody fish on. He doesn't look uh, overly energetic, so I'm gonna get him in the net pretty quick. Okay, because this is catch and release, I'm just gonna let him uh, rest up for a little bit because he, he, he looked really tired during that fight. So maybe he's been caught recently and trout are very sensitive when they get caught. Um, so I'm gonna let him rest up in the net for a few minutes. Um, but yeah, we've got one fish out of 10. I don't know how long's left, but it'll be on screen now for you. Um, but I think 10 was a bit optimistic. I'm just happy to have a fish in the net, it's really good. Um, so yeah, look, rest him up and then we'll have a look. This is the, uh, the first fish of the day. Lovely little rainbow trout, maybe three pound. Something's had a chunk out of his tail, but other than that, he's in good condition. Don't want to keep him out of the water too long, because as I mentioned. <laughs> as I mentioned, they're sensitive fish and they want to go back pretty soon, but he's swimming off nice and healthy, so that's good.
thought it was all following it then. <laughs> I'm starting to see things. Yeah, there's fish. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. We found it. Not long after the other fish, we've got another. This one's shaking its head like crazy, so I'd be surprised if it actually came off. And it's a Spartic trout. It's a Spartic. It's a Spartic. <laughs> so I've actually caught a Spartic up here for years, so it's been really nice if I can land this. So that fish had absolutely no hesitation in taking that fly. And the switch up to the white one is obviously working, which is great. And this fish is putting up one hell of a scrap. Good to see that he's healthy though. Oh, come on, please. Oh my word, this fish is scrapping. Yes, we got him. Get in there. That's another fish. His tongue. So, this is a spark tick trout, I believe. As you can see, a lot different from a rainbow. It's speckled with pink and sort of bluish spots. Um, and I'm really, really happy to have caught this. What a great scrap it gave me. Um, and just amazing markings, what a fish. This fish has been out of the water for long enough. Beautiful fish, we're gonna get him back. Off he goes. What a fish. I've just seen another one jump, so I'm going to get it straight back out. So there's a few fish interested, but they're not quite committed to the take. Um, don't know why, but funny enough, you know, as I said around there, the sun was out, so I wasn't getting any bites. As soon as I came around here and the sun went in, bites. <gasps> oh, yes. Fish absolutely nailed the fly. I saw him torpedo in, he missed it first go. And then he came back and smashed it. Another rainbow, I think. Be good to get a brownie, get the trifecta. Well, that's fish number three of 10. There's about two and a half hours left, I think. I'll give you an official time on the screen now. A long, lean rainbow trout. This one's a little bit heavier than the last one. Um, and I can actually show you this one, which is good. Uh, this is fish number three of 10. Uh, I'm not gonna waste too much time. We're gonna get him back so I can continue with the challenge and try and get up to as, uh, as close to 10 as possible. Fish number three has gone back safe and sound. It's nice to see him swim off strong. A few more casts in this spot and we're going to move down to a different location. Let's do this. Oh that's a good cast. Come on, it's got to be a fish there. Yep, yep. There we go. Another fish on the rod. <laughs> Straight in the net, my boy, number four. Fish number four, a lovely little rainbow.
Okay, that was fish number four. Quick release, I'm running out of time. Time's on screen now for how long's left, but I'll get straight back in that spot. This spot had dried up and I gave it another 20 minutes before I decided it was time for a move. Time is wearing thin. We have just an hour and 15 minutes left. I've still got six fish to catch. I'm back at the spot where I was catching all the fish. Let's just hope they've moved back into the area. I really haven't got long left now. Um, and I'm not even halfway there. It's not gonna happen, I know that much, but I could really do with one more fish. Finish the day well. As you can see, I've changed reels because the line on my other one decided to just snap mid-cast. The main line that is, so there must have been a crack or a split in it or something, so I've just spent 10 minutes sorting all that out, so I've lost valuable time. Let's go. We're calm, cool and collected. <laughs> We're in the tree just here aware and probably not gonna get this fly back because that's really tangled. Oh, we got the fly back, fine. All these tangles and mishaps had cost me valuable time and I found myself with just under 20 minutes remaining in the challenge. Fish just went for it three times and missed it every time. Where is he? Yes! I've completed half of my target, which I'm not massively happy with. But it's better than four, I guess. He's in the net, we haven't got any time to spare. I'm gonna unhook him and slip him straight back. It's another rainbow, probably about three pound, two and a half maybe. Unhooked, ready to go. And he's off. Seven minutes remain. See if I can hook another one at least. We hooked another Spartic. I think there's like three minutes left. I'm going to land as quickly as possible. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm trying to bully him in a little bit too, so I can count him in a challenge. I've got to land it. Yes, it counts. It counts. Yes, we got a sixth. So just under four minutes remain. I've just landed a spark tick in record time, I think. I think it's a little bit bigger than the last spark tick I caught as well. So I'm gonna let him rest up and then have a look. Three minutes, 46 remain. 
Six fish out of ten, not too bad. I don't know what I was moaning about. Well, that is one hell of a sparktic trout. What an epic looking fish. I am so happy I've ended on that note. What a fish, it's probably about four and a half, five pound. And it's so pretty, look at the spots on it. Lovely. I'm gonna get this back straight away. I'm really happy that I've ended on that. What a fish. I may not have done 10 fish, but what a result. Two spark tick, four rainbow, 57,000 tangles, one lost head, one broken reel, all in four hours.